So this week, Zimmerman Peacock is at the um, ATTD in Barcelona, and I just want to show you some of the things that we have on the stand. So really, we have the history of um, CGM or continuous glucose monitoring, or even SMBG self uh, monitoring blood glucose on the stand. So we have an example of sort of the first kind of technology that was used in um, diabetes monitoring, which is kind of like strip technology. Then we have the next sort of generation technology, which, which, which would be more sort of wire sensors. This is kind of George Wilson type technology from sort of 1992. Now we have the much finer, and you, you really can't you know, see it well, and that's fine. This is the finer CGM um, technology that one has today. Now, if we come out again, um, what we have here is, and it's too much for the camera, but we actually have a whole series of micro needles. So we have lots of different micro needles and one of the next generation of CGM monitoring, continuous glucose monitoring is uh, micro needles. So finally, I'm just gonna bring something into shot now. And this is what's really making all this possible now that this is a PCB, but this PCB when it's fully um, loaded with chips is enough to do a, um, a CGM, a continuous glucose um, monitor. So what I'm gonna do now is just do a quick wrap up. So, if you come to the ZP stand this week at the um, ATTD, you will really be able to see the history of technologies um, in CGM, going from blood glucose strips through to, let's say, wire sensors, through to finer wire sensors, and now into the microneedle space. If you have any questions, come and see us at ATTD this week. Thank you very much.